All right, guys, welcome to the Mercenaries for the Resident Evil 4 remake. We are playing as Leon on the Village. So the goal with the Mercenaries is to obtain the highest score possible, which will be the S++. And in order to obtain that rank, you have to get a score of 1 million. This video will show you kind of the guidelines of obtaining a million. It's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, some of the same rules apply from the previous mercenaries from other Resident Evils. It shouldn't be too difficult once you get some pathing down and just how the combos and everything work. So this game is a little bit different than Resident Evil 4 OG was and even a little bit different than how Resident Evil 5 plays. You do obtain time for each kill that you get. It's not just four melee um, kills anymore like it was in Resident Evil 5. Now some eliminations do grant you more time than others. I find that anytime you're in mayhem mode you get extra time. So use that enough to get extra time but use it sparingly enough to where it can get you out of a tight situation because I find that mayhem mode will absolutely help you just if you get yourself cornered especially as Leon or even Luis you can get yourself cornered pretty easily and then you can just pop it and kind of get yourself out of that situation but you don't want to hold on to it the entire game because then you're just not getting an optimal use out of it so you got to find a balance and you'll I'm sure you'll kind of get your own groove once you play a couple times but you'll see how I do it um, the yellow orbs give you a um, meter to your mayhem mode. So if you want to, I, I like to save one, like this one over here by the church. I save this one, and I kind of use it later in the in the video, and I just go refill my mayhem mode. The green orbs, uh, as you can probably tell, are the time orbs. Now. In some of the other Resident Evils, what I would kind of like to do is go run around and pick up time. But in this one, it doesn't make as much sense to do that because every elimination that you get, you are granted some seconds to your time. So it almost makes more sense to just kind of start off grabbing uh, maybe one and then going straight for eliminations so you can start racking up time. However much time you have left over at the end adds to your overall score. So the more time that you have left over, the more score you'll have tacked on at the end. And you can see here that each kill that I get in Mayhem mode is giving me almost 5 seconds. So it's really nice to pop and use to take out the uh, stages mini boss, And also just racking up time. So there's still some more tech with the mercenaries that I am still learning, but but I've been consistently getting S plus pluses with um, just the tactics that I've been kind of I've learned over the years with the other mercenaries and just some of the new uh, game sense with this Resident Evil 4. One thing about mercenaries that you'll quickly find out is that it is absolutely not stingy with the supplies. Uh, there's a lot of times in this video and in other gameplays that I've had where I actually run out of space in my inventory because I'm picking up so much ammo and grenades and other items. So that's a good thing. So you're not really going to have to worry too much about running out of supplies. So let's briefly mention the combo. There is a stage limit of 150 enemies and once you get that limit, you the game will end. It doesn't matter how much time you have left, uh, the game will end. So you want to ideally get all 150 enemies in one combo for the highest score possible. Now I will say that I have lost my combo in the 70 to 80 to 90 range and I still get an S plus plus. However, uh, you know, you're cutting it kind of close. So 
I would uh, highly recommend trying to get 150. Uh, and if you fail kind of early on, like in the 30s, it probably wouldn't hurt to just restart. Now, if you're already towards the end of the, uh, of the stage, you might as well just keep going. You might uh, make up for it in the end with your other bonuses. But it is worth mentioning that you can absolutely fail your combo at least one time and still have the possibility to get an S++. So it's not all hope is gone whenever you lose your combo due to something stupid happening to you. And sometimes that's just kind of the luck of the draw. You might just get cornered and run out of ammo at the worst possible time, and it, it happens to the best of us. So as, as you can see, um, I've been saving... I saved that yellow orb uh, to fill my meter because I knew the Bella sisters were coming. So I kind of want to use that for them. And... Notice I flash everybody and then I go for the, the two cheeky knife, knife kills. Knife kills uh, give you the bonus time, so I just got 10 seconds for doing that. Now, towards this part of the stage, you're going to get a lot of um, plagas popping out of people's heads. Uh, sometimes, I don't do this every single time, but you can use these guys to your advantage. Where, kind of leave them coming at you without killing them and without getting hurt by them, of course. And you could have, if you have a flashbang in your uh, inventory, and you know your, your time, your combo is kind of wearing thin, you could just pop a flash out real quick and easily get an extra kill or two on your combo. So it's a good combo saver uh, strategy that you can use. I definitely use that quite a bit in the uh, in Resident Evil 4 and 5. So now we're kind of at the final uh, last few at about 130 eliminations the last stages bosses are going to show up and on this stage you have all three chainsaw uh, ganados coming at you all at once and it's not as bad as it seems i would definitely try to have at least one uh, mayhem mode saved up for this now i almost lost my combo here uh, I thought he, I thought I killed him with the knife, but I didn't. But if I would have lost my combo here, I probably still would have got the SS, SS. But you know, definitely try not to lose your combo. Anyway, I would definitely try to save some mayhem mode for this uh, last little stretch. One to help you out with the bosses all coming at you at once because. Three chainsaws is not a lot of fun. But also, for each elimination that you get, you are going to get some extra time right at the end.
So now all we gotta do is eliminate the last few enemies, and that is game over. So you can see that I ended it just shy of a million, but the time bonus gave me an extra 420,000. So that took me up to 1.4 million, and that is an S++. So anything over a million gets you the S++ rank, and it's pretty simple once you get everything down. So that's going to end the video here. Stay tuned for more. Next up will be Leon on the castle, and followed by the island, and we are going to do every single character and stage eventually so thank you all for watching i'll see you next time